we back with you. So as you can see, the top and tipping in America, tensions are running high, man. The tension is running extremely high. Uh, and this is something that has to be stressed. You know what I'm saying? We don't talk about this much. And I'd be like, man. Um, hey, I used to be a server. I kind of. That was part of, you know, a server, what they call it. They, they changed the name because it be a waiter, waitress, to a server, to whatever name. So you learn to live off of tips. But tips is to ensure proper service. A lot of people don't even know the, 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 what tips mean. Right, right. But it's to ensure proper service. Right. So really, a tip is not, you, you how am I going to put this? You can't demand anyone to give you a tip. It's, it's your service that allows them to give you a tip. But things have changed now that they are living off of the tips. So... The, the amount you make per hour, you have to make tips in order to even it out. Right, right. Well, I mean, that's a very valid point. Do and you tip? Let's let's get this off, sir. Do you tip? And what percentage do you tip? Well, I do tip. And um, What type of tipper are you? I, I tip the best of my ability. I'm not the best tipper there is out there, but, you know, so I what do percentage? tip less. Um, I wouldn't even say a percentage, but if I would give a percentage... I would say, look, let's say I order a, a, a freaking pizza or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like at least a five dollar tip or something. I'm not like you no know, one dollar person, especially in 2023. I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, that's it. But, a lot of us don't but, know. Yeah, still, I, I do tip. You know what I'm saying? And so, and sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I just give money to those people that I see that are in need as I see fit and as I had, you know what I'm saying? That's your tipping. I give freely too. No, but when I go out to eat though, more more specifically, I, yeah, tipping. But, but let always, me just say, always. you at least supposed to tip at least 15%. 15%. Yeah, that's a lot saying. of people don't understand, but you do. That's, 15%. That's the average amount. If we going amount. out to eat and all of that stuff, I mean, we will definitely make sure the lady is taken care of. So I will just, say that. Just for the word, and and we get a bad rap. Most of us blacks, we we really don't know about tipping. We don't. We just, you know. And I used to work at the restaurant. This is the part that used to wear me out. I have the best times at the black tables and made the less money. Mm. Do you kind of get that? I had the best times with them, but made the less you money the at their tables. At Think the about black it. table, but made less. Why? Wow. How? And, and, and so it, I get what you're saying. I, 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 I kind of understand what you're saying. Um, understand what you're saying. It's like you had a good time with them, but they weren't the best of customers to serve. Because I work off for tips. So when you hear those things, oh, black don't tip, those are some of the reason why. That's what happens. Because we really, really don't know about the 15% tipping. That's so because something we didn't grow up raised, with. I was raised like this, right? If you can't afford to tip, then don't go don't out. Go. You understand what I'm saying? That's, then don't go out. You know what I'm saying? And easy, then that's what we say. I mean, black people do have this stigma of not tipping, and maybe that that goes hand in hand with how black people have a bad reputation with black business. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe certain cultures and customs like those is a part of the reason why um, we can't establish good grounds in terms of business. It's because we do things like that that are contrary wise to our production so i mean like when we do things contrary wise to our production it was, we're really shooting ourselves in the foot so when we're trying to do business and i see it a lot too with black businesses and black people that's in business you want the brother the brother cousin you know what i'm saying because you my man's i went to school with yeah i know you discount everybody we, we talked about that too everybody right? know that discount you know what i'm saying uh, everybody know that hbo discount i don't know if that's so I don't know if that's um, if that's going to be conducive to our production in terms of black businesses. I think that in order to outpace a lot of these businesses, we would have to spend more dollars with the black business. So now look, this is something deep, and I'm and, and we talking about tipping in America, and we're gonna get right back to that in a tipping, second. We got right. something to we show you. We got solutions. We're too. gonna we're gonna get right. We're gonna get and this is what I'm offering solution. We're gonna get right back to that. So now you have a you have businesses right in america right which are not black owned and it comes from a long line of defaults that we have you understand what i'm saying and so this is the thing black people don't own anything mm -hmm. True. so i mean like everything that we get we have to buy from people you understand what i'm saying we got to buy from other people so even if what happens is when 
long story short, short story even shorter is when we buy from our own folks, we're probably going to pay more than if we pay in a store at Ox store or at Walmart yeah. because they are, you know what I'm saying? They middlemen, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get it out the mud. Oh. So chances are we have to spend more money for the same product with our own people. And so like me, I try to keep that in mind. Like, yo, instead of going somewhere else, I'd rather just spend a couple more extra dollars to spend with these black businesses because I know that they are not getting prices at a premium. They are, I'm, I know that they're getting prices at a premium, excuse me. I know that they are getting prices at a premium. So chances are we are going to have to pay more to support our black businesses. But as I digress, I was taught not to go out why, uh, if you don't have a tip. And here you go with people that's, that's having their life, you know what I'm saying? Their life, that's their life. This is what they do for a living. You know what I'm saying? This is how they make money who work just to not get tipped. You know what I'm saying? And black people historically are bad with that. We have a bad reputation with tipping. And I think that goes hand in hand with business. I think that goes hand in hand with the way we do business. That's backhanded business. And we should not be recognized as the people that do that. I know we probably the brokest out of all the races, but God damn it, we don't have to act like it. Not about us broke. But let's flip the other side of the coin. Remember, I get on this. Remember, I'm 60 years old. It's a difference with me. Those rules of service weren't rules by black men. People get on me when I say that because when if black men made rules and regulations, policies and procedures, they wouldn't fit the way that is. Now, if we ran our own black restaurants, we would have made it simple. You would have made a wage that 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 makes for you to live. You shouldn't have to live off of a certain amount for tips. When you come to a black restaurant, the service should get a certain amount that they will give you the great service, whether you tip or not. Get it? Because if they were making good money, they wouldn't worry if you tip or not. They would just give you great service because they're getting a nice amount of pay. Right. So why do they make a small amount of pay to live off of tips? Where did this uh, idea come from? Do you see it just doesn't make well, sense? Well, see, um, we actually dealt we. We actually delve into um, tipping. We actually delve into uh, uh, a lot of the where the restaurant industry come from. And to be honest with you, I did the research. I definitely did the research beforehand. I, I believe the restaurant industry um, started. You know what? We're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna pull do up real, a little. real quick. We got the time. We got Let, the time. Let's do this. Let's ask Google. Let's ask Google right here and see what it say. Yeah, remember you when did the restaurant Google. industry start? Let's just see something. For a second. Hold on. And you got to When did the restaurant Google. industry start? According to Alimentarium, according to legend, in 1765, a man by the name of Monsieur Boulanger was the first to open an establishment offering a choice of restorative broths and even. So, in about the 18th century, uh, mid 18th, eight, mid 18th century, 1765, the restaurant industry began. So they just refreshed my my memory. You know what I'm saying? So you know that we're not making this up. So I like that. I don't like to talk about things that I don't know about. Number one. So the restaurant industry started then, and tipping that tipping culture tipping culture actually didn't start until the 18th century. Somewhere that explains around, some things again. <laughs> I mean, excuse me. Uh, somewhere somewhere around the 19th century in the um, 1800s, uh, around the time of Abraham Lincoln's assassination and all that stuff. That's when tending and you had a server and all of that stuff. They had to wait a little longer. We right. made the laws. Wait, and you had a They waiter. wouldn't have to worry about tip. They so, got a good salary. <laughs> that's where it started from. But to be honest, we don't we don't know everything in the ins and outs about west, restaurant industries, what it takes to, to buy the, and supply the food and um, deliver it on demand to customers and things uh, of that nature. So for whatever reason, the restaurant industry is the way that it is. And my issue is that black people have a stigma of not tipping. And so this is the problem with that. We've earned when, that. When, when, when people go out to eat and they black people, right? And we expect good customer service, but these people are used to black people not tipping. What kind of service you think you're going to get? Because, I mean, after a while, it, 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 it lowers people morale. Let's be more for real but about we're not that. being taught we think we know it all that's where our situation come in but we have to teach each other now you know you've heard me don't go to another restaurant 
and order anything and tip less than 15%. Because if you do, you are the black weakest link. So we have a comment right here on a special person. It says some people don't realize that essentially the server works for you. They are an extension of the restaurant, but they work for the party they serve. We should tip generously for great service. So that's more than 15%. Generously is more than 15%. Well, 15% we, is required. Well, what she's saying is that I, is that the the waiters are essentially employees for you and not the restaurant. But they're that doesn't working, make sense. They're, they're working to serve you. But that doesn't make sense. They should get me pay a certain amount per hour to serve that's what they do and a tip is just a little extra just to thank you that's how it should be that's how we as blacks think that's what a tip is we think a tip is just a, a thank you or a little couple of dollars extra that's what we believe a tip is mm -hmm. we didn't know 15 percent was a tip but i didn't know until i got into the restaurant business if you don't know you don't know so that's don't. what it is. Remember, hey, I said I spend the most. We want to thank all thing. the viewers. We want to thank everybody that, that that's viewing. We hope on the tipping. Go over to the YouTube, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. You know what I mean? And fifty percent. Go over to the YouTube. Go over to the YouTube. That's ultra important. Just go over to the YouTube. Be more for real. Um, information is down below. Gotta and subscribe, you, you all. Um, Gotta like, share, subscribe. subscribe. Let, let, let's go. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and still, let's let's go ahead and let's get into this video because I know we we've been talking for a minute and we gotta get that we we have to get this out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do um, for the audience is I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, share a screen here and be, and bear with us too because we want to bring this all together. It's in, it's important to discuss this tipping culture this tipping thing now keep that in mind and remember you heard it here first because we we be more for real about everything everything that we say we being more for real about everything we being more for real about so let's uh <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull up some screen share right and then we're gonna pull up this one and then we're gonna pull up that one let me know if y'all can see this right here and and what we're going to do is we're going to discuss this. It has a little, we don't own the rights. We do not own the rights to any of this. Um, we appreciate the content creators who made this. It's a news station, um, actual news station. So you guys going to hear uh, what they have to say about the situation as well. Um, let's get into it. At Tokyo Japanese Grilling King. The question isn't who's going to pay, it's who's going to tip. I keep telling them, support them, that, okay, it's okay, we don't make on this table, we're going to make on the next one. The servers say they're having a hard time making money because customers don't always tip, and Wednesday it hit a new dangerous level. She hit me with the phone, and then she got me to the neck and all that stuff because I try to hold her back. Owner Mi Tang says staff recognize two regulars who don't typically leave a tip when they dine in. Tang says one of their servers approached the table and asked if they were going to leave a tip. That's when surveillance video caught the customers get up and throw things off the cashier station. Then a fight breaks out. I have to stand up for my people. I have to stand up for that. I have to stand up for my business. This is my business. They cannot come over here and do on that stuff after we have already done with the talk to them. Tang says the last time the pair came in, she asked if anything was wrong with the meal or service that would warrant no tip. I said, if you cannot tip people, you can play online order, take out order, come over here, take your food and go. Don't leave the mess and make someone to do it. That's the cheating on their labor. Tang says her servers make minimum wage, which is $2.13 for tipped employees. That's why Emma McDaniel says they depend on at least 15% from each table. I mean, I can't imagine not living at home because I'd have to pay more. I think people need to learn that that's what we live off. That's mm -hmm. how we make our money. Moving forward, McDaniel hopes customers will be more considerate of the work they put in. As for the fight, Tang filed a police report. There's no reason to get aggravated or elevated at this point. And y'all all right, so look, that's enough. We heard enough about that. We heard enough. They had the nerves to call the we heard, police. You we heard gotta enough. be kidding me. We heard enough. But now you can see how important 
and how stressful and what the no, tension is like no, 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 with no, tipping no. in America. You agree with that? I don't agree with that. Well, I know you don't. And that what, was a that was a. And now, what what don't you agree? Let with? me explain something. Yeah. First of all, you you hear how she said they were their regulars, right? They come there regularly. Exactly. Remember, you not you don't have to pay a fifty. I mean, a tip. Right. A tip is not. Uh, a requirement. It is to ensure proper service. If you if you don't feel the pre- per- people's service is good enough, you don't have to tip. Okay. That's the whole purpose of it. Okay. They're making it seem like they are required to tip. And they came to them while they were there and asked them, mm. are they going to tip? Yeah, they did. Whoa. They really did. They really did. And see me. Absolutely. I, and, I, and, and see, this is why I love to be more for ah. real. Because me and even, even me and Uncle Wayne, we don't ah. agree on everything. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that these people are uh, providing a service. And I believe absolutely you should, you should tip. I don't care if you're a regular or not. And that's why she asked them politely. And you see the response that she got. She asked them. She said, look. Is there something wrong with our service? They didn't just ask them a tip. She asked them, is there something wrong with our service? Is there something wrong with our food? If not, we would we would like for you to order out and take out instead of taking advantage of See, our even workers you try that to get put paid words off in a tip. No, that's, no what, that's what they said. No, that's and, what they said. But hold on. Try to ask hold on let's somebody, get to, are you going to tip? Let's get to some more comments. She started, did it? Hey, let's get on. to some more comments. Cuz said, I don't leave a tip. If the waiter service wasn't up the par, he go. said times is hard, and I don't mind keeping my money See, if the service is bad. That's, that's what he said. Fact. That's, that's what he said. And, and look, I don't disagree with that either. I don't disagree with that either. But I think it's a fine medium. Can if I could, that's I it. think it's find a fine that medium. No, I think it's a fine medium because, like I said, look, if you're waiting on a table, right, that you know that it's not gonna give you any tips, it lowers your morale, and that's no excuse. But that's, I mean, we, we're humans. We're susceptible to our morale being lowered. Now you know that you, you're providing a service that you're not getting paid for properly. How much how much gratitude you think they're going to have to treat this guy that going to job? You understand what I'm saying? For but real. So you pay Given for the, outcome. the food. When you're in the middle, you're not discounting the food. You're paying for your food. When a person go in and they pay for their food, if the server had great service, then you get what you are. If you have lousy service, I'm not going to give you a tip and you treat me any kind of way. I'm sitting there. You don't refill this. I'm looking for you. Can't find you. And then I got to give you extra money too because your job only is paying you a certain amount per hour. I supposed to feel that. See, that's a whole different side of it. That's why I said I had more fun. Well, at the see, table. now look. Now, okay, <laughs> okay. Think about um. See, the, we, have to, this? we have to think about this. Listen. Too, cause, cause I don't like to just discuss things for no reason. Matter of fact, before Solutions. I even before before I even get into my thing, let's get into some more comments. We have we have some more comments. She said, "Customers are Dude, dead, gonna be on my side. Dead is wrong here, throwing stuff. Nah." So oh. she said, "The customers are dead wrong here. They throwing stuff. Yo. Just hell no, for for real. All right, maybe the throwing right. stuff I can agree. All right. Also, if the wait staff was paid better, they might not be so angry. So." Back to like my side said, again. For real. If black men had the rules and regulations, policies and procedures, people get upset when I say this, but it's a true fact. If we made some of them laws, and look when they were made, even when he talked about them, 1700, 1800, stuff. If black men ran to town, you were made a, a, a nice salary so you can treat people with some respect. Do you understand? Well, I, not TV, wait till people give you money. You got to kiss. I think black people aren't there yet to understand how business work because obviously all restaurants work under this code. So it's even something we don't know about the restaurant industry. I just told you, you don't know or, about those things were created by white men. I'm so not you, knocking them. Those rules need to be I changed. Mean, I mean, just think of how much has to happen. Think of how much has to happen in order for uh, uh, a meal to get to your plate. You understand what I'm saying? Even vegetables, not just meat. Absolutely. But so even you should tip. Think so of how many factors came into all place. All they did was bring the food. So you need to tip the cook. You need to tip the bus boy. You need to tip all no, of them. No, because they're the ones getting it. paid. The chefs, the cooks. Oh, they get, they regular get paid money. the oh, regular money. Oh, so only the servers. The servers, which is why Tracy said so eloquently, the servers probably 
more likely are workers for you as opposed they're an extension of the company they uh employees are you so if you need them to go get something they're gonna come get, come and get it for you but you gotta realize too that they got, they got some other people to facilitate too i know and i mean like that's called work that's, I, I i think if you getting paid per hour that's called work you got several tapes right to it's called work. imagine if the hours were, that's the solution you okay. know we got to get the solution next. Like, we already know yeah. the solution, I mean, right? And we spent a lot of time. We spent a lot of time on the subject too, because it know is the hot. Solution for this. He said, he said, Cuz said, Cuz said, the workers was in the wrong because for one, they keeping the business up and running by dining in, and number two, nobody is holding a gun to the workers' head to say and be a waiter. They. Oh, I don't know. Oh, nobody holding a gun to the worker's head to stay and be a waiter. They know what they was getting into before they were hired. I kind of like his idea. So back in school, so he said, he said, go, he said, go, he said, go back to school and get a real job. Whoa. Benefits. That's damn. A- God <laughs> damn. Hey yo, cuz. <laughs> hey yo, he really put that missile on you. For real though. Hey yo, and, and see, I ain't, I can get with that, but huh, hey, yet again, good. yet again, Americans are lazy. We want people to serve us. So, oh, you at, really think Americans are lazy? I'm not, I, I, I know it, hey. but but whole whole time though. Hold on, let's let's do something. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta get something here, and I really like the. I like the comment though, because <laughs> I like the I love the comment. I love the comment, cause. We gonna get into Google yeah, real quick. Let's get some interesting and comments. Let's get some. Like that, let's bro. get some interesting yeah. facts here. How? Oh no! You know what? I can do it from my phone. So yeah, you can, get um, those interesting comments. So you can hear it from Google. I'm gonna get it from my phone. You can hear it from Google. What are you let's googling see. That? Watch this. What percentage of Americans are in the restaurant industry? Oh wow! According to National Restaurant Association. Prior to the coronavirus pandemic, the restaurant and food service industry was the nation's second largest private sector employer, oh, wow. providing 15.4 million jobs, or 10% of the total U.S. workforce. Whoa, did you hear that? So A lot of people depend so, on those tips. Whoa, did you hear that? I hope y'all heard that. I hope y'all heard that clear. So if not, what but I would still, do. Imagine if we opened up, listen, if black men open, our, open up the restaurants, we just change it. That when you come to our restaurant to work for the ones, the servers will get paid a, a nice wage. So how do you hour. pay the servers and the cookers and the people that you own the property to and the, and, and, and just do and it for all the materials? Let us how do, do you, it. You how know do you why? manage all We do that? it right. How do we you don't do what they that? did. We learn from them and do no, it right. No, see, my, I'm, I'm under the wise impression of not reinventing the wheel. See, look, we live in a capitalistic well, society. We gotta reinvent this their is wheel. Not, this is we not, need our own wheel. This is not communism. You but understand what I'm saying? We need our own wheel. We do need our own wheel. So I wouldn't argue that. Let's reinvent. I wouldn't argue that. Let's reinvent. We do need our own wheel. The wheel. But no, no black the wheel. wheel already works. How the black wheel? What better thing to keep things rolling other than a wheel? Because it's not working for us. No, the if circle keeps going. Working, the the act- circle is the wheel. No, no it's not. Look, look it's a natural see. shape. It's not working. It's a na- the wheel always works. It's not working. It may not work in our favor. Right. Because so it's not working. It may not work in our favor. So but as the wheel black men, we got to make a change. Our restaurants that everybody get paid a wage. But how per can, hour. How can That's you sustain reasonable. restaurants already? But you know what we got to teach already each other. Let me tell you why, blacks. We got to teach each other as black leaders. Stop trying to be rich and famous. Okay. First of all, get the bare minimum and learn to live together. We always want so much more. That's why we're in the situation we're in now. Right. All of us can share that piece of a pie. If you got a restaurant, all of them share a piece of the pie. You have good food. You charge reasonable money, and the sir, all the workers I just get don't, paid well. I just well. don't. I just don't. And think you that's, give good service. I just don't think that that, that 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 is wise. Now look, this is what this is what the Google said. It said prior prior to the coronavirus, right? Prior to the coronavirus I, I heard that pandemic, prior to that. it said the restaurant food service industry was the nation's Major. second largest private sector employer. And how many were owned by blacks? Providing. 15.4 million Google jobs. up again okay. and ask how many okay. were owned by black. Let's, let's ask Google. How many restaurants are owned by black people? Zero, 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 zero. Hold on. There are over 1,300 options under its U.S. food and dining list. 
<laughs> she got off the situation. No, it was so on, low. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I it was you. so low. She had to go to another. What show. percentage of the restaurant industry is black owned? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't hold on, hold on. See, look, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. When we get in these, don't keep going, keep pause. Going, keep going. Let's keep do this over again. Keep going. What percentage of the restaurant industry is black owned? According to Zipia, comparatively, 18.5% of restaurant owners are Hispanic or Latino, and 10.2% of restaurant owners are black or African American. 10%. You said black and they said Latino before they said black. It says 18.5% 18, 18. of restaurant owners are Hispanic or Latino. Right. And 10%, 10.2 10. to be exact, restaurant owners are black or Latino. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 And then you don't want to know the, the statistics on how many of them last beyond three years of restaurant businesses. We can break down those practices. That's did why I said, is, that, did you is, hear that? Is, did you hear what Google just told you? I, I heard it. That's your hurt. What, what right? did you get? What did you get from? That hurt my feelings. We don't own shit. That's what I got that hurt from my it. Feel. We don't own shit. That hurt my feelings. We don't. We don't own restaurants. We don't own farms. And they gonna we don't bring own Latino none of this shit. We don't own none of this shit. Black. Watch this. You asked for black. And it's so bad. First, they went to another subject. Then I he did it again. That. Then they said 18%. Then they said 18% Latino. Yeah. I we didn't even peep black. that. Then they had to go all the way down to 10 because it's so low. I it's didn't even peep that. That is an eye opener. Sad. I didn't. I never even peeped that. And that's some real Sad. facts right there. They went to they went to Latinos before they went to the black people. Said, hold and, on. It's and hold on. Hold Based on, on those statistics you. as well, too, it will tell you that the Latino community has outpaced the black community I've at least it. in the uh food industry and that's Pandora. what that tells you as well too and for damn and good reason Pandora. i'm telling you my favorite food is mexican and i will Baltimore. tell you straight up my favorite food anybody is in the houses in baltimore mexican so anybody I, in the corner i see store why i'm not going i'm not and they're covered in baltimore food. and they take it over baltimore and so they, they take really it over every city everywhere and and see this is their native land see this is what americans let's be more for real about stuff because they were here first and these people are more native to america than we are, wow. you know what I'm saying, and and and, and, and we not that even only happened through a certain certain you know circumstance. That's this, why Texas is like how it is, and all. man, look. And to hear that, and you telling them they can't come across the border, and this was their right. town. And you gonna build a wall, and you gonna build a wall. That's, That's crazy. So they're once more, again, they're more Native American you know than we are. Black That's men a fact. are not leading because this wouldn't be a mess like it is now. It wouldn't be. See? We're gonna be more for real about all these circumstances. Be more for real. We went all over the place, we but did. just to think where we came for them tips we and did. to see what's going on and to see where we are in this restaurant business and to learn tipping all the way around. If we change things, our solution, remember, we go to solutions. The solution is simple. I said it earlier. Pay them more, things will be better. We get better service. Bang. And what I will say too, look, for those people that are on Facebook, please do do us a favor and go over to YouTube so we can get the channel started, so we can get things popping, be more for real podcast. Go over to the YouTube page, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit the notification button, leave some comments. Um the mic is always open. It's be more for real, man. The mic is open.